welcome back to my channel today is my very first Halloween tutorial and as you can see it is pretty much a dead person uh, also known as a zombie a walker I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial if you have any tips or just any comments leave them below and thank you so much for watching bye and happy Halloween hey everyone welcome back to my channel we're going to start off this tutorial with white base paint and I also have the same base paint in the color black and we have to apply these paints all over the face first I'm going to use this metal tool to take a little bit of the white I'm going to mix it up and just soften it out and take my beauty blender and apply it all over my face the reason for using a sponge is because it provides an even and very smooth application now you don't have to use a beauty blender you can use any type of sponge I would just recommend that you wet it first and then squeeze out any excess water and just use it like that um, if not, go ahead with the brush. It just might take a little more time to blend it out and get it the way you want it to look. If you're going to be wearing a low cut shirt, don't forget to color your neck, your ears, and even your lips to make the whole skin even. Now with the same beauty blender, I'm taking the black color and as you can see here, I'm just dabbing it uneven all over my face and um, I'm not really worried about blending it in because I'm going to use my brush to just soften it out and I'm using the flat top kabuki by Sigma and then I'll use my beauty blender to uh, smooth out some extra edges and make it look the way I want it to. Now I'm using my e.l.f. Complexion Perfection Setting Powder to basically set all the creams I apply to my face. Now we're taking this matte black color, you can use any matte black color, it doesn't have to be a specific one, and just use any brush. I chose to use a blending brush and I'm just applying it on my eyelids, just all over my eyes and I need to, extend, I need to accentuate and bring out the tired look so I'm going to use the same black color to uh, darken this area as you see here and you don't want it to look too harsh but you do want it to look a bit exaggerated because you're a zombie and you're dead and you're tired right now this is just an extra thing that I added um, it's not really gonna show at the end of the tutorial because of the blood and everything I'm adding on my face but I thought it would be really cool to contour the zombies face and when I mean contour I don't mean you know contour and highlight like you would do on a regular basis I wanted to make the cheeks look sunken in, kind of like if you're biting the insides of your cheek and holding it in like I'm doing here. So I just took the concealer brush and the black paint and I traced my sunken in cheeks. Then I went in with the same black paint and my kabuki brush and just shaded inside that area to make it hollow out and look like this. Now I'm going to take the concealer brush and the same black paint and I'm just going to give another coat on my eyes. Uh, like I said, you want your eyes to look sunken in, you want them to look tired. So I'm just going over all the areas that we did with the black eyeshadow. Now for the fun part, I'm using this flower paste. And if you want to know how to make it, I will leave the instructions down below. And I took a cuticle stick. Uh, this is just a wooden double-sided stick. And I'm using this to apply the flower paste basically wherever I want blood. So basically anywhere you want an open wound or flesh or anything that deals with blood, you're going to use the stick to apply the flower paste. The stick is double sided so just make sure you apply with one side and use the other side to scrape up any excess and to also make the flower look rough rather than flat. I'm using the other side of the stick which is the clean side to basically remove the inside of the wound and I'm using a back and forth motion as you see here to make the outside look rough and the inside just look a bit bumpy I guess and as I remove I'm adding on more to the outside as you see here you want a nice thick layer so that when it dries you have more room to work with and you can make it look a bit messier you don't have to follow this exact pattern for any wounds or open flesh you can do your whole half face you can do from your cheek down whatever you want I just chose to do this and that's three separate wounds
Just remember to use the clean side of the stick to open up your wounds and spread out the flour like so. Now we have to dry the flour only halfway, do not dry it completely. With the flour being halfway, we're able to go back with the cuticle stick and make the edges look rougher. As you see here, I'm just using the cuticle stick to smudge it out a bit and make it look really rough. There are some spaces that need more flour, so don't forget to go ahead and add more layers, like I'm doing here, to cover up those thin layers that you have below. I need to let the flour dry a bit more, so I'm going to go back in with that black paint and my concealer brush, and I'm going to lightly contour my nose. I'm not doing the whole entire nose, I'm just doing the bridge of the nose to darken it out a bit. And then I'm also going to go over my under eyes and I'm going to just accentuate that tired look and blend it out a bit at the end. You can also use your fingers to blend and that's what I'm doing here. I want my face to look lifeless so I'm using the black paint to take away the highlights on my brow bone and I'm also going to color my lips black as well. I'm adding some of that black underneath and around my nostril area, like this, with a concealer brush. Just to darken up the face a bit more, nothing special, it's optional. I never turned the fan off, it's been helping me dry faster, so now I'm touching around to make sure that the areas are dry and ready to work with. The forehead wound is still a bit soft because I added extra. But I'm just going to go in with the cuticle stick, make it rough out a little bit, and now I'm ready to paint. I'm using my concealer brush to color the inside of the wound white. This will help the blood pop a bit more. Then I'm using my beauty blender to smooth that out a little bit. Now with the same beauty blender, I'm mixing the white and the black paint to paint over the wound. I used whole wheat flour so it has a bit of a yellowish tint and I'm just trying to get rid of that. With regular flour, it might just be white and it might take the color easier. But either way, you still have to color over it to make it look flesh-like. But don't worry, because now we're going in with the blood. The blood is going to help us with two things. One, sealing the flour to your face. It's going to act as a bond or another glue. And also, it's going to help hide the rough edges underneath and make it look like it's actual flesh opened on your skin. I'm using one of the cheaper brushes to apply the paint because I noticed that the paint does stain skin so I didn't want to take any chances. But basically I'm just coloring the edges of the wound and then I'm going inside and coloring the rest. We're doing only one layer of paint right now because I want it to dry and then I want to add more. I'm also coloring my lips because of course zombies eat blood and flesh and brains. While the blood dries. I'm taking just an angled brush and the black paint, you can also use eyeliner, and I'm just lining my waterline, smudging it out a bit, and I'm also lining the lower lash line. Now we're going back in with the blood. This time we want it to look a bit more gruesome. So I'm putting three drops of blood on my face like this, and I'm letting it flow naturally. And then I'm going to use the brush to just blend out the top where it started dripping from. I want my wounds to have that glossy look, so that's why I'm adding another layer of blood. And this is also going to help with any white patches you might still have from the flower. You can also add two drops on the bottom of your lower lip and let it flow freely to make it look like you just fed. Now with this green eyeshadow, I'm going to use my kabuki brush to just add a bit of green on my face and this is just going to help me look a bit rotten. And now just fix your hair or mess it up and you're done.